Welcome to 4212 Serene Hills, located in the hills of West Austin, out by Lakeway. We're very close to Lake Travis. We have all the creature comforts minutes away. We're probably 25 minutes to downtown. We're 10 minutes from the Galleria, which is exceptional shopping. We have exemplary schools, and we're on six acres, high atop a hill, super private. It's a complete compound. I have a sport court. I have the solar panels back here. Our electric bills are almost nothing. The house is as high level finish as you're going to find. Super high end construction today with views forever. It is incredibly rare that a property like this comes on the market. And for those of you who are in any way looking, you're going to not only love the property, you're gonna love me for bringing this to you. So let me just say at the very beginning of this video, you are incredibly welcome. We start in the courtyard. So Matthew, if you could pan around, we have a two car garage over here. I'll show you in just a little while. This garage is actually used as a gym. And we have, this is actually a three car garage over here. Tile roof, stone, stucco. Look at the corbels, the attention to detail. We have the porta cache where I'm parked now. So you have room covered parking. Two cars here, three cars here. You can fit two more in the porta cache. So you have room for seven cars to be undercover but all of this courtyard, super private, beautiful landscaping, the fountain. So right when you get out of the car and come up, you hear the sound of running water. It's so beautiful. Intersecting barrel vaults outside the front door. And look at that old Chicago stone that's up there or Chicago brick that's mixed in with all of the stone, beautiful arches, massive wood front doors. The inside of this property is every bit as spectacular as what you've already seen on the outside. We have massive two-story ceilings in this family area. Mesquite, actually these aren't mesquite. These are uh, gorgeous mahogany wood floors. Matthew, if you could come in and give them a feel beautiful stone. This is an arched dining area, a complete circle. Look up above. Gorgeous beams. The chandelier is spectacular. Look at all the small windows up on the top for natural light. All of this stone just beautifully finished. Over to this side, we have the entertainment area where the TV is. You have a floor to ceiling stone fireplace here. This has a gas starter. If you're so inclined to use gas on the fireplace, but this is a huge room. Look at the sitting area here. And then Matthew, if you pan over here, we have a second sitting area here. Have an upstairs bar that I'll show you in just a minute. The kitchen over here, but outside here, the view is nothing short of spectacular. So first thing, this is a massive outdoor covered living area. If you notice, it is completely screened. So no bugs, no issues with anything because this, this becomes your screen porch. Floor to ceiling, again, stone fireplace, wood finishes above. This is an entire wall of glass that when I got here, I pushed the glass back behind this wall. So always have a lot of natural light. But the star of the show, we sit on top of the world. Look at the views from here. Hilltops, as far as you can see, there we have to be 15 plus miles of views over above the bocce ball court, which is down here, the pool. Matthew, if you could scan over, show them down this side, the bocce ball court. So remember, this fence has nothing to do with the property line. We're on over six acres. The sport court is down way outside the fence. The bocce ball court is outside. This is just a fence around the pool area, but the pool is spectacular. First of all, the shape of the pool is very modern in design. It's got a hot tub that easily can fit 10 people in the hot tub. And the pool has to be 50 feet long. It's a massive pool. And look at this space you have for outside entertaining here. All these beautiful stone floor, all the way around you have stone flooring. You have manicured beds all the way around. You have an entertaining pavilion over here where they've actually had bands come out and play. It is the, the, the setting for this house, it's, it is, truthfully, it isn't like anything else that's on the market. I can pretty much see forever, yet it is incredibly private. And as we come back in, 
Matthew, if you would, head back this way, and I'm going to take him through the kitchen. All right, our second sitting area. Remember, all of this is one massive open family room, and it is wide open to the kitchen space. Seating area, seating area. We have bar seating at the kitchen. Great high-end appliances. Thermidor fridge. Thermidor range, the commercial range with the double ovens. I've got or, uh, dishwashers on each side. So two dishwashers, one a dishwasher drawer with the warming drawer. Beautiful glass backsplash. Over here, microwave drawer. Look at the amount of storage that's here. It's really impressive. Through here is our catch-all, a little desk for paying bills. And back there is the utility room. I won't show you that, but it's a great size utility room. Lots of storage, has its own sink, has room for another fridge, just steps away from the main kitchen. And then this way. So this is the upstairs bar area. Again, beautifully fi finished. We still have the glass backsplash. We have the ice maker, which is actually, it makes sonic ice. For those of you who are familiar with this area, that's really great just chewing ice. It's just the small things in life, right? We have built-ins all the way around. We have the coffee area here. You have frosted glass on here. And, and through this, Cantera door is the start to the wine room. You have the spiral staircase leading downstairs where actually the seating area is. Matthew, if you would, show them the mosaic ceiling in here. It's intersecting barrel vaults. The amount of wine storage here, 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 and then abundant amount downstairs, individual bottles here as well. The master bedroom is on the first floor. I didn't mention, but this is actually, so this is a dumbwaiter, which gives us the ability to send things to the downstairs bar without having to carry them down. Great thing to have close by, super convenient. Back to our dining area where we started, the foyer here, the massive, beautiful wooden doors. And then on this side of the house, all the way by itself, we have the master suite. The powder room, this is onyx on the floor. Look how beautiful the tops are here. The potty area over here. Everything in this house, the selections are really tastefully done and, and absolutely beautiful. Wood doors throughout really ornate hardware and this is the master suite so i want you to get a feel for the ceiling height i'm guessing 12 foot ceiling in here massive beautiful windows incredible views notice right now there are no treatments on the windows it's that private in here we're overlooking the pool area down below the bocce ball court this master bedroom also has its own screened in porch which is beautiful for the morning. Having your morning coffee here, or if you wanna have it as a little cigarette bar or a cigar bar, it's perfect for that because it's all screened in, right? So this, is, this kinda does make the perfect cigar room. It even has the ambiance with the fireplace. And then we go into the master bath. Beautifully finished in white. So we have marble tops, vanity, vanity, makeup area. We have a beautiful white marble walk-in shower, accent tile. We have body jets. We have multiple shower heads here, here. We have the wand, beautifully finished, wide open, very bright in here. Butted glass in the corner by the tub. And look, the views, again, are, it's just spectacular. Beautiful light fixture. The selections in this house were, again, super tasteful. This is the water closet, and then the closet itself. Again, absolutely beautifully finished. There is storage galore in this closet. Built-ins, built-ins, hanging space, lots of shoe space, great size closet, everything that you would expect for a master bedroom um, of this quality and for these kind of finishes. Beautifully appointed. Okay, as we come back out. So remember, the master suite is on the far side of the house all by itself. 
We come out to the family room, kitchen, breakfast area, we'll get to that, our dining room. There is a serving counter between the bar and the living space. And over here is our breakfast area. Now, if having coffee outside doesn't interest you in the morning, sitting at the breakfast table, your views are equally spectacular. And notice the amount of glass that is across the back of the house. Great natural light, just really beautiful. And then on this far side is our first of the guest suites. First thing to notice is the size of this room. This is like another master suite. This is a huge bedroom. Built-ins over here, seating on top, spectacular views everywhere we look. Beautifully finished bathroom. Again, it's what you would expect to find, but it's the separate tub. If you have a daughter, this is a really great one because it's like it has diamonds on the backsplash. The shower has a band of the same diamonds. And then the closet, great size walk-in closet with built-ins. So, first floor. The things that we've seen so far. Here, I'll take you back out to the family room as we talk about them. The space. And I don't know that it's going to come through in the video, but the space of this room, the ceiling height, the, it, it's just... A, it is a massive open space. And then with a, a whole wall that collapses back and hides behind that fireplace, it really brings the outside in. And remember, out on that back porch, they have electric screens that come down, so the whole porch is screened in, right? First floor is exceptional. You have a guest suite and the master suite on the first floor. And then you also have the attachment through here, which is to the first garage, which is the three-car garage. And then you go through the porta cochet into a two-car garage, which I'll show you in a little while, which is now the gym. In just a minute, I'm going to show you downstairs. All right, the downstairs. Um, so for outside entertaining, here's our pool area. I'm going to take you there in a minute. Outside kitchen, all the goodies. But the great thing about downstairs is this is a stained concrete floor. It's finished. We have the big double doors that open. And so truly we can live outside and inside in this space. What we have on this side is the game room. Great finishes, speakers everywhere. We have the bar top. This is actually a wooden top on the bar, wooden top over here. The black finish on this is beautiful. We have the dishwasher drawer here. We have another ice machine. So again, once you're downstairs, you have everything you need. You have the microwave, you have the mini fridge for more beverages. And this is your wine room. Remember the door we went through upstairs? Similar Cantera door downstairs, coming into the wine area. Beautiful. Look at our sitting area over here that's built in. Look at the amount of storage. Look at the individual bottles that go in here. Really well thought out. The spiral staircase leading up again. Another refrigerated area here. Remember we mentioned the dumbwaiter? Here's the dumbwaiter to get things from upstairs down and downstairs up. We have something special behind here. I'll show you when you come in person. Okay, downstairs also. So we have a media area. I want you to notice three TV screens. This is, so any kind of sports that are going on, Think of when you're having a party here. This is such an amazing space. I have three screens to use. I have built-ins everywhere. It's wide open. The, the views are spectacular. The flooring is just right for entertaining here. Uh, lots of seating. And look at this. A private area for playing poker. Or if you want to have another breakfast area. But this is really cool the way it's outfitted right now. Here we have the smart room for the house. This is where all the equipment is stored. And down here, we have another suite, again, way off by itself, just like upstairs. The suites are by themselves and incredibly private. Super high ceiling downstairs still. Beautifully finished room. 
super private. Again, yes, there are things on the windows, but we don't even need anything on the windows here. That fence has nothing to do with the property line. That's just fencing in the pool area of the backyard. Remember, we're on six acres on top of the world. And this one, another beautifully finished bathroom. Great storage in the closet. So the sink is here, the door closes, the water closet plus the shower and bathtub. Okay, so this is bedroom number three for the house. And then I'll take you to the far side. Once again, our media area, the game room, the bar, the wine room, we are wide open. And even notice the little details, like how the pool is perfectly centered on the house. And the views, even from this first floor, from the lower level, are just spectacular views. Through here. Wouldn't matter to most people, but it's a big deal to me because storage is always at a premium. And look at the size of this storage room. This is easily a 10 by 10 storage room. And back here we have bedroom number four so far. Again, notice the size of the bedroom. Really high ceiling. A bank of windows for natural light and killer views. Great space down here, great privacy away from everyone else. And this bathroom, beautifully finished also. And notice all of the bathrooms have their own theme. They're all finished differently. Walk-in closet, beautiful finishes. Separate shower. And this door closes. And this door makes this double as our pool bath. So any guests who are here, we can close this off. They don't have access to the bedroom, but they have a full bathroom to use. And let's go outside. So our first floor or lower level covered living area. Look at the size of the grill, probably a 51 inch grill. The bocce ball is over here. We have the sink, we have storage space. We have an outdoor fridge here. Look at the amount of seating we have. So wide open and easy to serve people. They have it set up with a dining area here, but you have tons of potential living space here with living furniture. Notice as we walk around the detail, the stone is so beautifully done. Really pretty finish. Pebble Tech finish on the pool, the bubbling or tanning area, hot tub. As I said, I believe you could see 10 people easily in the hot tub. It's a waterfall that also cascades over there into the pool. Unbelievably private, super quiet, birds chirping. The wind seems to always be blowing because we're on top of the world. Over here. Is our outside pavilion. So this has been used in the past. They've had bands come here. It is the electric is all here to be able to plug in for all of the amps and all the equipment. The band plays out this way and it's a packed house. Um, the parties here they say are amazing. Look at the quality of construction. Look at the way even this pavilion is put together. Everything's super solid, right? It's steel and it's massive pieces of wood. The stonework, as I told you, is really beautiful. May or may not show up on this video, but, but everything about this house is super high quality. Matthew, if you'd stay there, and just pan across the back because the back, back of this house is really beautiful. Again, the bocce ball court over here, it's on the other side of the pool fence, uh, but we're on six acres. So the lot goes far here, far here, pretty much every direction. The sport court, you'll see the sport court in the drone shot. The sport court is just right through here and down the hill, but it's beautiful. Perfect for basketball, for pickleball. Okay, and this brings us back in. Game room through here with the bar area, back through here to the bathroom. Next up, I'm gonna show you the guest quarters. Okay. So as we leave the main house, notice this is all covered, the breezeway, beautiful columns. We have our courtyard out front. And as I walk through here, 
fountain. This starts our guest quarters. And look how beautifully guests, the guest quarters are finished, right? First of all, everywhere you look, it's pretty here. I'm looking out on beautiful landscaping, the fountain, the blue skies, the architecture of this house is spectacular. But we have high ceiling. This is a beautiful space for someone. We have a great size walk-in closet, microwave here, refrigerator here, sink here for their kitchenette, and then a full bathroom. Storage, the sink, the wet areas, beautifully finished shower. There is no guest who wouldn't be excited to stay in this place. And, and the cool thing about this is when you have people come stay with you, I have a guest house. So as opposed to at the end of the night having them in your house, this is kind of a best case for everybody. They have their privacy, you have your privacy, but they're still here at the, on the property. They're all within the compound, so everybody is still together. Upstairs is far better than any office you had hoped to find. And I'll show you that next. Okay, I built it up. Now let's see if it lives up to what I've told you. Um, first of all, this is the patio directly off your office. I want you to take a look at these views. I have a good 15 plus miles in this direction. I have a golf course over here, but we are absolutely on top of the world. Inside, look how this is finished. It is beautifully done. First of all, look through this glass. Matthew, if you would pan around and show them, it is spectacular. Can you imagine? You're sitting here, working. This is a leather finished granite, beautiful top. And this is your view all day. Butted glass so that there's no frame to distract from the view. And we're up here by ourselves. We're outside of the main house. So we don't have noise to deal with. But look at, we have beams. We have gorgeous arched windows. This opens into the courtyard. If you like the sound of running water, we have the fountain down below. Sitting area, built-ins, a full bathroom once again. And be, look at the shower. They didn't chintz on anything. They didn't short sell, but it's only in this area, so let's finish it. It's all finished beautifully. And again, Matthew, just stay there and follow me. So those are the views that you would have as you're working from home. Pretty spectacular. All right, I'm going to show you the gym, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, I don't usually show garages, but in this case, we got a lot of beautiful garage space. First of all, notice nothing is cheated. Look at the natural light that's in here. We have windows all the way across the back. This is, though we have the massive doors, these are single doors. They're insulated, wood on the outside. Um, there are two doors, but this is actually a three-car garage. And at times, they park three cars in here. So this leads us to the porta cache. So here's our porta cache. Looking out at the driveway, we have a 900-foot winding driveway to get up here. Even the drive up to the house, you're, you're coming, it's spectacular, and it's all your property. And then we have this second garage. This is actually a two-car garage. Now, in his case, this is a parking spot for the Porsche. You may see that in the still pictures. And then it is a full gym. So beautifully finished. At the end of the day, it's a garage. But if you are looking to have a gym, this is a really great space. And we have the three-car garage next door. We have the porta cache where we can park two more. So you have a lot of parking here. And if you wanted to have a gym at home, though, this is a really great space for it. Uh, I'm going to give you a drone shot. And as soon as we're finished with the drone shot, I'm going to come back and wrap up the video.
4212 Serene Hills, located in West Austin near Lakeway, out by Lake Travis. Spectacular 62 mile rock bottom lake, one of the most beautiful lakes that you'll ever see. Blue water, and where we sit on six acres, you can see for miles, 15, 20 miles in the distance. We're on top of the hill, it's super private. The grounds, as you've seen through this video, the grounds are spectacular. A courtyard out front, paver finished in a circle pattern, a five car garage, it's stucco and stone with a tile roof. It's got some old Chicago brick mixed in, beautifully done, highest level of finish, and a superior build quality. We're seeing for miles above the pool. The pool is probably 50 feet long. It has a tanning area. It has a hot tub big enough for 10. It has waterfall. It's very modern feeling. Bocce ball court over to the side. Sport court, both with basketball and pickleball on the property. We have the solar panels for virtually non-existent energy bills. We are 25 minutes into downtown Austin and we are 10 minutes to the Galleria for some amazing shopping. All of your creature comforts are very close by, yet you're on top of the world on six acres. Super private, great schools. The house itself is about 6,800 square feet heated and cooled, not including the garages, not including these massive outdoor covered living areas. These are screened in spaces, fireplace outside, fireplace inside. The house itself has this massive wall of sliding glass that folds back behind the fireplace to bring the outside in. And again, because this all has the electric screens, there's never a mosquito, a bug issue, there's nothing. And it is beautiful. It is so spectacular. Then we have, when you walk through the gorgeous double doors, we have a two-story family room beautiful mahogany floors, I mean beautifully stained. The mahogany floors are a, a rich, deep, dark color. The ceiling is the same wood finish on top, but the walls are done in gray. They're very modern finish, beautiful feel. The space in this room, you have, you have multiple seating areas in this massive open area. It's open to the formal dining area. The formal dining area is a is a huge stone turret, if you will. And at the top are these beautiful wooden beams with a gorgeous chandelier hanging down. Windows all across the top for natural light. And all of this space is wide open. The kitchen, exceptional appliance package. Glass backsplash, beautiful, dark, rich cabinetry. Has the commercial range with double ovens. Has two dishwashers, it is, uh, it's spectacular and across the entire back of the house is nothing but glass. Taking advantage of these views, we have the breakfast area, we have a gorgeous staircase, spiral staircase leading us downstairs. We have another spiral staircase leading us down from the wine room, two story wine room finished in stone, beautifully done. On the first floor we have the master suite on one side, gorgeous finishes. Again, it's the same wood floors. It's white marble in the bathroom. It is distant views. It's the shower with body jets. It is a walk-in closet that has all of the, all of the built-ins you would hope to find in this level finish. Then we have another first floor bedroom and bath on the complete opposite side of the house. We go down the circular stairs and we have, we land in the game room with a large bar area. The bar has a dishwasher, a fridge, an ice maker. It has the, the entry, the Cantera door entry into the wine room. The wine room has a sitting area, it has built-ins, it is stone, it is wood, it is such a beautiful mix and the, the design is just gorgeous. The top of the wine room has a mosaic finish on the ceiling. It's intersecting barrel vaults with a mosaic finish. Again, beautiful. Downstairs also is the media area. Three TVs up in the media area. Just outside the media area, sitting area, great for cards. It's all wide open to the outside. Wide open to what is downstairs. And downstairs, when you go through the, the massive doors, is an outside kitchen, covered dining area, living area, 
There is the entertainment pavilion out back. All of this when you come down. Also on that first level downstairs, you have two more bedrooms, huge bedrooms, walk-in closets, their own bathrooms. Everyone has their own bath and they're on far ends of the house. Everyone staying in this house has complete privacy and separation from the other bedrooms. Really, really well thought out. As we go through the front doors out to the motor court out front, beautiful courtyard. We have a fountain in the courtyard. We have gorgeous landscaping. We have the big wooden garage doors. We have the porte cochere leading us in. The finish is, again, exceptional. And then we go through the, the front massive wooden doors back outside, and we have the guest suite on the first floor. Great space, beautifully finished, has a kitchenette, has a full bathroom. Come back outside and up the stairs to the office. And remember the office has the butted glass with miles and miles of views. 20 plus miles of views from the office and it is glass. It has the Romeo and Juliet balcony overlooking the courtyard down below. It's spectacular. As you go through the porte cochere and down the hill slightly, you come to the sport court. The sport court is for pickleball, basketball, just a <laughs> beautifully finished. Um, everything is the highest, the highest level, the most beautiful stuff you're going to find. I can't express enough how you will not be disappointed when you get here. I show a lot of the houses in the price point and there are always things that you find that are kind of uh, not here. This is spectacular. All of this on over six acres, the great schools, the proximity to all the stuff, the peace and quiet and views. We always have, we always have a nice breeze because we're on top of the world. A 900 foot winding driveway getting us up, which if you have the right car is unbelievably fun. It's, it's just fun to come here. Very private, room for multiple structures if you want guest houses, if you want to bring people in, you can do other things as well. All of this, all of this priced under 5.2 million. But these gorgeous, handmade white Italian shoes do not come with the house.